thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and attitudes can affect how healthy your body is. Untreated mental health issues can make diabetes worse, and problems with diabetes can make mental health issues worse. But fortunately, if one gets better, the other tends to get better, too. Welcome to Fitness Solutions Plus. Here we will share everything related to fitness. Make sure you've hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon so that you will never miss any of our videos. In this video, we are going to talk about the mental and psychological impact of living with a chronic condition like diabetes. So, if you want to know more about this, then stick with us till the very end. It is possible that a diabetes diagnosis will change your life forever. Whether you have type 1 diabetes, in which case your body produces no insulin at all, or type 2 diabetes, in which case your pancreas produces some insulin but not enough, having diabetes can require you to make changes to your lifestyle that you may not be prepared for, and it can also be difficult on your relationships with friends and family. As you begin a new routine, it is critical that you develop good habits for managing your mental health at the same time. The ability to recognize and understand your diabetes symptoms is essential for proper diabetes management. Taking steps to prevent mental health crises is similar to taking insulin to ensure that your blood glucose levels remain within normal ranges. This includes being aware of how you are feeling mentally and emotionally in order to take appropriate preventative measures. Taking care of your mind is just as important as taking care of your body when it comes to living a long and healthy lifestyle. Mental health conditions such as depression and anxiety, if left untreated, can exacerbate the symptoms of diabetes. In the same way, pre-existing diabetes can exacerbate mental health conditions. An individual's way of life can be threatened by a diabetes diagnosis, which can feel like a threat not only to their health, but also to their way of life. This is because managing diabetes requires changes to one's daily routine. Your doctor may advise you to modify your diet by eating specific types of foods, avoiding sugary beverages, or restricting alcohol consumption, which can be difficult for anyone, regardless of whether or not they have been diagnosed with diabetes. Additionally, the cost of appropriate care can be prohibitively expensive. These changes can be emotionally draining, and you may begin to notice that you are feeling a little off or that you have very little energy left to carry out important tasks related to managing your condition as a result of them. It can be extremely stressful to leave with the fear of blood sugar fluctuations, Changes in blood sugar levels can cause rapid shifts in mood, as well as other physiological symptoms such as fatigue, difficulty thinking clearly, and anxiety, among others. Diabetes distress is a condition that shares some characteristics with stress, depression, and anxiety, and it can develop as a result of having diabetes. Diabetes distress, in contrast to depression, can be traced back to the presence of diabetes-related risk factors. Hypoglycemia or having a dangerously low blood sugar level can cause a great deal of anxiety in some individuals. In addition to internal factors such as family and societal support, as well as healthcare services, external factors can have an impact on diabetes distress. Approximately 33 to 50 percent of people with diabetes will experience diabetic distress at some point in their lives, according to current estimates. However, while experts agree that medication is not usually effective in treating diabetes distress, they do believe that improving diabetes management to reduce stress, talk therapy, and support groups can all be beneficial. One of the most significant obstacles to treating mental health conditions in people with diabetes is the low rate of detection of these conditions. Up to 45% of mental health conditions and cases of severe psychological distress go unnoticed in patients receiving diabetes treatment, according to the American Diabetes Association. Diabetes treatment teams must be aware of the mind-body connection and provide comprehensive care to all patients. One method of accomplishing this is to conduct regular screenings for mental health conditions during office visits, which can be done at any time. On average, only about one-third of people with diabetes and mental health conditions are diagnosed and receive appropriate treatment because the signs and symptoms that people experience when their blood sugar levels are too high or low can be mistaken for depression or anxiety. It's possible that this is the case. People with diabetes may also feel embarrassed about discussing their feelings of depression, and as a result, they may avoid discussing them at appointments. 
the American Diabetes Association's standards of care recommend that treatment teams include a mental health professional who is knowledgeable about the disease, as well as that people be screened on a regular basis for complications. However, the reality is that only a small number of diabetes clinics offer mental health screenings or integrate behavioral health services into their practices. This is where online screening can be beneficial. Mental health screenings are a quick and simple way to determine whether or not what you are experiencing is indicative of a mental health condition. Mental health conditions, like diabetes, can be managed with medication. Having both at the same time does not make either less treatable. Rather, it necessitates the use of different treatments for each. A referral to a mental health professional, such as a psychiatrist, psychologist, or therapist, should be discussed with your diabetes care team. Together, your doctors can assist you in developing a treatment plan that is effective for both your mind and body in order to achieve the best possible health. Therapy is a highly effective treatment option that can be used by both people with and without mental health conditions to improve their overall well-being. Talk therapy is not only for discussing your problems, but it is also for finding solutions to those problems as well. Professionals can assist you in sorting through the many issues that may be causing you stress, understanding your mental health condition, and identifying triggers that may make things worse, as well as learning coping mechanisms and techniques. In addition to therapy, there are a variety of different medications that can be used to assist with depression. When deciding on a mental health treatment plan that includes medication, discuss your family history of mental illness, as well as your own diabetic condition with your mental health care provider. Some evidence suggests that antidepressants, such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, may help people who already have type 2 diabetes control their blood sugar levels. In fact, according to one study, taking antidepressants is associated with a 95% increase in the likelihood that a person with diabetes will have their blood pressure under control. According to other research, taking tricyclics and selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors SSRIs, may increase your risk of developing diabetes as a result of the weight gain associated with these medications. A diabetes diagnosis can result in prolonged stress, which may in turn result in an increase in blood sugar levels. Additionally, stress can make adhering to your diabetes maintenance routine more difficult to maintain. In order to find patterns, experts recommend keeping track of your stress level each time you log your blood sugar and looking for any patterns that appear. In the event that you notice a pattern, you can learn to recognize your stress warning signs and take steps to prevent stress while also keeping your blood sugar levels stable. It may be necessary to work with a professional in order to learn relaxation and coping strategies. Just as diabetes therapy must be reviewed and adjusted on a regular basis in order to find a long-term solution to care, finding the right mental health treatment can be a time-consuming and error-prone process. The earlier you seek treatment for chronic conditions, as is the case with many other chronic conditions, the better. So, this video provided an in-depth explanation of how diabetes can cause serious mental health problems and how you can prevent them from occurring in the first place. Alright everyone, this brings us to the end of our video. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and give the video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to ring the bell icon for more videos like this.